Welcome to your eight minute hips, buns, and thighs lower body workout. This workout is guaranteed to help you strengthen, shape, and tone your lower half, all with the use of a chair. In fact, if you use this video consistently three to four times a week in your balanced fitness routine, you will see a significant difference in the shape, strength, and tone of your lower body. So I challenge you to start today. Take photos of your lower half, hips, butts, and thighs. Use this video three to four times a week for eight weeks or more, and after eight weeks, retake photos of your lower half. And show me if you see a difference in how you look, feel, and perform in your life. With all of that being said, if you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Caroline Jordan, and I'm a certified health and fitness coach here to teach you how to use movement as medicine. On my channel, you'll find a variety of video content designed to help you perform and live your very best life. So if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so we stay connected when I upload feel-good fitness content that's just for you. So if you've already brought your chair, put on your favorite pair of leggings or shorts for this lower body workout, and hit like on this video that you're ready to go. Let's get started with our eight minute hips, butt, and thighs lower body workout. We have 10 seconds before our first exercise. Turn your chair so the seat faces you. Reach your arms around, up, shoulders down and back. You're going to tap the chair and row the arms. Go. So, tap and row. This is an excellent exercise to elevate the heart rate, strengthen the butt, and also engage the upper back, the posture muscles that help us stand up nice and tall. Did you know that the stronger your butt is, the better your posture is. Big plus! So not only are we shaping your hips, thighs, and butt, but we're helping your posture get a little more posture perfect so that you can stand up tall, confident, and feel your very best. Keep that toe tap going. Squeeze your butt every time you touch the chair. Nice job. How tall can you stand? Breathing, rest, turn the chair around so that you now have the top of the chair for your hands. Take your legs wide, toes out, heels in, plie squat, down, squeeze to stand. The chair helps you remember to stand up tall, to engage your stomach muscles. And when you lift up from that plie squat, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Notice that you're getting a little more range of motion and mobility with every repetition. And can you imagine if you can commit to doing this routine three to four times a week, how much more mobile and strong your lower body will feel. Keep the plie squat going. Sit up nice and tall. Breathing. Smiling. Strengthening. Stay with it and relax. Hold on to the side of your chair. Reach the same arm and same leg long. We're going to leg lift and leg crunch. Go. Leg lift, crunch. Now we're also strengthening your core muscles, your obliques, your balance muscles. Breathe. Good, now you should feel both legs working. The hips especially work in this exercise. So not only do I feel the leg that's lifting, but I feel the leg that's standing, supporting me in doing this exercise with good form. Breathe, whew! It's always good to make some noise when you're getting a good workout. Squeeze those abs, stand up tall. I love a lower body chair workout. Hang in there, you're doing great. Squeeze it in, breathing and relax. Turn to face the chair, hinge forward at the hips, bring the same leg up, and we're going to chair donkey kick. In and up, go. In and press. 
Now again, same thing, the working leg and the supporting leg are active here. So not only am I feeling the glutes of the leg that's moving, but I feel the glutes, hips, and thighs of the leg that's standing. Keep your spine straight, tummy tight, and think about putting your mind to your muscle, squeezing the glutes as you extend the leg back behind you. Eight minutes is all it takes to see a big difference. Stay with me, think positive, and know that you can do this. You can do anything for eight minutes. Oh, my booty feels great. I love it. Flex your foot, hang in there, relax. Side two, swing that chair around. Bonus arm exercise. Reach the same arm as leg out. We're gonna leg lift and crunch, go. Leg lift, crunch, leg lift, crunch. Please go at your own speed and listen to your body. Remember, you don't have to move at anyone's pace but your own. Good, a good fitness program meets you where you're at and helps you get to where you wanna go. So personalize your approach to fitness. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. You need to do what you need to do to feel better and strengthen your entire self inside and out. Stay with that leg lift, hang in there. You got it, eight minutes. Eight minute hip button thighs. That's all it takes to see results. Stay with it, good, good. Breathing, oh man, that was tough. Let's face the chair, hinge forward at the hips, abs tight, bend the leg, heel towards the ceiling. Ready? And donkey kick. Up and down. Squeeze the glutes. Now, if you can keep your heel close to your bottom on the working leg, you'll feel a little more hamstrings. It's essential to strengthen the hamstrings because they help lift the booty even more. Good. Bend the leg that you're standing on just a little bit. And again, you're working both legs at the same time with this exercise. So you get more bang for your buck with every rep. Breathe for me, breathe. Tell yourself you can do it. Eight minutes, a couple times a week, and your lower half is gonna love you for this. Stay on it, keep that press going. Whoo, breathing. Oh, booty work, rest. Turn that chair around. You're going to grab a seat for chair squats, my favorite. Reach your arms out in front of you, abs tight, and stand up, squeeze your butt, sit down, reach the arms. Now, if this is a little too easy, you can always do a single leg chair squat. So if you're working through this routine, down and up, ooh, check that out. Oh, that's really hard. So single leg chair squat, or we've got double leg chair squat. Repeat the video. See what you want to do when you do so. Double leg or single leg. Have fun with it. Fitness should be fun and help you feel good. <sighs> Abs in tight. Keep it up. Squeeze the butt. Smiling is very advanced. <laughs> you know how we do here on this channel. Good. Keep squeezing those glutes. Heart rate's coming up. Nice work. And last exercise. Turn the chair around, lay down on your back, feet go flat on the chair, hands by your sides. Final exercise, hip bridge, lift and lower. Now just as we did with the chair squat, if you want to advance it a little bit, you'll take single leg hip bridge, alternating. So remember, every time you repeat this video, you can play around with the variations that you choose. This is our last exercise of our eight minute workout. So commit to doing your very best and staying positive while you do it. Single leg or double leg, your choice. Do a few more reps, keep that breath, squeeze the top. Oh yes, baby, this is awesome. Almost done, whoo! <laughs> Activity completed. That's it! You're done! Sit up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders down and back. Give yourself a pat on the butt. And notice how you feel after that eight minute
good workout. I'm so proud of you for committing to your fitness and sticking with exercise so that you can live your very best life. Remember to repeat this video three to four times a week for best lower body results. And when you do so, I want you to leave me a comment below and let me know all the things that you experience with a stronger lower body. I'm so excited that you're here on the channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with a friend who could also benefit. And if you'd like to contribute to the channel's future growth, please consider becoming a Caroline Jordan Fitness Patreon or donating to the channel so that I can continue to create more uplifting video content that's just for you. The Patreon and donation links are included in the description box below, so check those out because I'd love to have your support in sharing movement medicine with the world. Thanks so much for joining me for this eight minute hips, butt, and thighs lower body routine. I'll see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.